Optic neuritis is a rare condition, so I think that the figure we have is every year the incidence is about five to 100,000. And that'll vary up and down the states because of geographic effects. Um, I think the significance of optic neuritis is it's part of MS in many people. And MS, as you know, is commoner. And because people with uh, MS, uh, you know, they have normal lives, they, they live normal lives in general, uh, you know, it builds up so a lot of people with MS are around. The results are exciting. You know, we looked at the back of the eye, the retina, the nerve fiber layer, using a technique called OCT, and we found that phenytoin uh, preserved the nerve fiber layer by about 30 percent. There was 30 percent neuroprotection with treatment, and uh, that's pretty good because nobody has really shown that so robustly before. Uh, we looked at the macula, and we found that there was a 34 percent preservation of neural tissue. And in fact, we've extended the results a bit further by looking at the optic nerve using MRI. And there we found there was also near significant protection as well. So overall what we're finding is that treatment is able to preserve neural integrity in the eye after an attack. Uh, I'm saying to everybody it's opening a door. I think we've been searching high and low for neuroprotection in something that looks like MS for a long time. Now that we have something, I think the answer is that we need to build on it. So whether we use a similar drug, it's a sodium channel blocking drug, it's anti-epileptic, or whether we combine it with other drugs, whether we do trials in MS proper as opposed to a, a demyelinating attack like optic neuritis. So this is something we're going to have to consider. But clearly we have a tool now that we can apply and we have to find the right setting. I think people have done optic neuritis trials before and come up with suggestive answers. Uh, I think the beauty of this and I think the reason it's so persuasive is that it builds on really basic research both sides of the Atlantic for many years, which identified these uh, sodium channels as treatment targets. And you know, we had a very robust experimental base on which to predict that this trial should work. So the fact that it has worked means actually that it's believable. And I think that's the reason why it's important. Everyday practice, I think, is still a little distant from, because this is really a proof of concept study. You know, in MS, in optic neuritis, we're searching for something to preserve nerve structure. And the long-term goal has to be uh, that if you preserve nerve structure, you preserve function. The thing about optic neuritis is people get better. So vision generally improves. And in fact, in this trial, we didn't see a significant difference in the visual outcomes. Uh, there was a hint, but we didn't see anything that we could call significant. So for everyday practice, this is really the start of a story rather than the end of a story. No, because, you know, phenytoin has been used for a very long time. Uh, people with MS who experience pain or seizures are and were often prescribed phenytoin. So we've been familiar with its use in MS for a very long time. And in this trial, there were no serious side effects. We had the usual uh, rashes about, uh, in fact, we were very careful to withdraw people in the slightest whiff of anything. So we withdrew 10 people from treatment who had very mild rashes. There was nothing serious. And we saw nothing of more significant.